I'm so excited about our next guest. Uh, yes, it is Super Bowl week, but we're gonna talk a little bit of reality TV. Everybody knows that Gilbert and I are, uh, we love reality TV. We have Farmers Wanna Wife season two, Brandon Rogers and uh, and Ty uh, Farrell. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for jumping on with us. Appreciate Thanks for it. having us, yeah. Uh, Brandon and Ty, so you guys were in the first season or first time in season two? Yeah, we're season two. Okay. It, it premiered last Thursday, and so episode two actually comes on tonight. How was it? You know, just have you watched some of it or not yet? Or? Oh, yeah. We definitely, we watched it with everybody. We watched it with America for the first time. So, uh, you know, the two months that it took to film it, we got to experience with it, experience it with America last week. What's it like for you guys to put your lives out there? And for I mean, you guys are trying to find love and everything, but... What, what is it like to have the cameras on you guys at, at all times? You know, for the first week or so, it's pretty awkward. You got cameras everybody, everywhere watching you. The women don't really know how to act. Uh, it's a different energy. But after about a week or so, and you build this connection with the people on crew, you kind of tune them out, you know? You're there for the right reason. We're trying to find love. And the best part about it is it's not at a bachelor mansion. It's not at some vacation hotel. Like, it's... It's at my place, it's on my farm. And so that kind of adds a dynamic of normalcy, I guess. I, I guess, is there like, a, you know, I guess when you're on a ranch, you got a lot of you know things to do, requirements, you gotta wake up early. Do you, I guess, you know, make them go through like uh, the whole routine? Can they can they do it, can they not? Do you guys even care about stuff like that? Yeah, for me, that's that was the whole dynamic of the show that, big part of the reason why I wanted to do it. The ladies come to your house, they get to experience where you live, what you do, um, like I said, Brandon said, you're, you're not going somewhere on a vacation, you know, a vacation destination type <laughs> deal. And, you know, you meet somebody and then all of a sudden like, oh, well, you got to go to, you know, the real life. And then it's all different here. They get to come experience you for who you are at your own place. And you can see if something works from there. Let me let me ask both of you guys. How much of a culture shock did you guys notice it was for cause I saw some of the contestants in, or some of the ladies that were there. Some of them were from L.A. LA and where you guys kind of are completely different just what from both of you what what how much of a culture shock was it I think it was a big culture shock except especially for the women on my farm you know you're coming from these big cities Jacksonville Miami uh, Milwaukee and you're coming to the town of Center Colorado with 1200 people no restaurant no stoplight it's a big culture shock but how's the Wi-Fi though my Wi-Fi is good. Okay, there you <laughs> go. I got good Wi-Fi. That's all they need. All they they need. can TikTok and they can Instagram. Yep. yep. Hold the phone up like this. When I'm looking for service. They got it. Yep. But how did you feel like it was a culture shock as well? You know, the ladies that were at my place, it, of course it's going to be a culture shock for some of them. Um, they did enjoy it. And what was for me where I took it with, took out, out of it is that, you know, after the first week or two, they were there. And it's like, okay, now is this still a vacation for you? Or are you really digging digging your place here? And, you know, I had the lady that was from New York. And, you know, that New York grit, man, she hopped in. And she was going to do it. It didn't matter. She was like, I got this. Uh, so that was pretty fun to watch. Did one of you guys ever find yourself shaking your head often? Like, can you put the phone back? Can you stop doing a dance? I'm trying to post on Instagram. Or can you not, like, milk the cow and then take a selfie at the same time? Like, stuff like that. And more like, like it was like, hey, would you get your makeup on? Let's go do some work. <laughs> It was quite the process getting them out the door. <laughs> what what made you guys uh, decide to do something like that? I mean, you, like you said, you're from a small town, no restaurants or anything like that. Just what what was all that like for both of you guys to open yourselves up to, to doing a reality show and, and obviously trying to find love at the same time? You know, for me, it was the fact that from a small town, the dating pool is very small. There's not a lot of people there. Uh, not a lot of women moving there, you know, most of, I graduated with 23 people and I would say half of my class left If you're not part of the ag industry, you know, there's no point in being there So this opportunity opened the door to meeting women that are interested in that Western lifestyle and bringing them out to See if they can handle it. They might think it's one thing, but when you get out there, it's a little different uh -oh. Ty, Ty? Yeah, for me, I'm 42 years old. I've been married. I've got a child. And so the, the dating pool for me is it's very limited. Um, so it was for the hope, the hope of finding somebody that, you know, would come experience life. And, you know, why not take a shot? Just curious, have you guys been to Las Vegas before and come out here? Because I tell you these guys that 
I used to be a reporter here at the Las Vegas Review Journal, and they made me cover the national finals rodeo. I didn't know anything about the rodeo, so I had to go and do it. It was like, okay, it's like a culture shock. But do you guys come out of stuff like that or you care about things like that here yeah. in Las Vegas? Yeah, I mean, it's it's the mecca of rodeo for sure. So everybody that has anything to do with rodeo really wants to come out and be a part of it. And it's a show. You know, Las Vegas puts on a great show. I, it's been a few years since I've been out here, but, you know, sit home, watch it, and take it all in. Yeah, actually, uh, I'm the vice president of the oldest pro rodeo in Colorado, the Sky High Stampede. So I've spent about 10 years out here coming, doing a bunch of networking and working as a committee member. So it's really cool to do that. But this is such a different energy because it's Super Bowl week. Everybody's about the sports. And so it's kind of nice. You know, you get all the Cowboys during NFR and the country people. But this is the sport fan base, the mecca of sports, really. So yeah. it's a cool dynamic and a cool change for me. Did you participate in one of the events? Nope. I, I don't actually rodeo. I'm on the business side of the okay. program, I always tell them. <laughs> so I, I obviously... I don't want anything spoiled or anything, but like, is there anything that truly shocked you guys about uh, doing something like this? Anything stand out to you? You know, I, I think for all of us, it was just the the magnitude of what it was when it started. You know, the cameras in your face, uh, you don't experience that on a daily basis. Nobody does. But then you you get used to it, and now now it's really not a big deal. You know, you see a camera and you might shy away from it beforehand, but after the fact, it's, we're like, all right, okay, smile. <laughs> you know, for me, it was just the, the fact of the business aspect of it, you know. These people that are creating the show and creating the content are just as passionate about what they do as I am about farming. So it was really cool to see people come in and be amazing at what they do while I'm able to do my thing on the farm as well. Yeah, they really, like those guys, like the behind the camera, they were making art. It wasn't that they were just pointing a camera like, okay, we're going to get this shot. They were they were, they were, were passionate about it, and they were making art, and they enjoyed it. Oh, it's pretty cool. You, you kind of learned to appreciate the, the mm -hmm. side behind the scenes and all that. But maybe, maybe I don't know if it was a random question, but maybe also fitting. Did you guys ever try, like, a dating app before doing, this, the, I guess, the reality TV show? Homeboy, there were 23 people that graduated in his class. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I swipe I about four times. I think you'd be, I think you'd be swiping gone. at himself at one Maybe point. Maybe the radius is 100 miles away. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I've been on that 100 mile radius many times. And yeah. you're like, a couple days, you're like, oh, there's three more. <laughs> yep, yep, and then it's over. <laughs> but uh, did, do you guys find yourselves that the four of you guys, the four farmers that were there, it's four of you, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. Did you guys become boys, or I mean, right now you guys are obviously here together, but like, did the four of you guys kind of build a bromance or anything oh, like yeah, that? For sure, absolutely. You know, uh, there's only four or three other guys that really understand what we've gone through, and so it, we call it a trauma bond <laughs> because nobody else understands what it's like. You know, your life totally gets upheaved to make this production and be part of the reality experience. So. Absolutely, we came, we became boys, and we're all going to go out and check each other's farms out, and do a couple trips, do some fishing, do some hunting, and the typical country boy stuff, you know. That should be the reunion show. Yeah, right. farmers yeah. want a wife reunion show. The boys hang out or something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, we could we could sit here and say like, you know, reality TV is exhausting, and people are like, yeah, okay, right? It's a TV show. It was the most exhausting thing I've ever done. Just the up and down every day, twelve hour days. And because it's it's they're all up in your business. It's life, it, but it but it is real. It's, Was there any point where you had to tell me, you know, I'll cut the cameras, I can't do it today, or I can't do this moment or this scene? I might have had a moment like that, you know. <laughs> but they and they knew it because they knew how I was daily. I'm pretty go with the flow. But there was a situation that had happened that really kind of got to me. But you know, the crew was great, and they're like, you know, I, I, I was on my horse and kind of doing a thing, and I just kind of took off and went for a ride, and they're like. Just go do you for a minute. We're right here. <laughs> That's, go ahead. Sorry. My experience, uh, you know, I didn't have anything too crazy like that as far as uh, having to leave camera. But my farm definitely had some different dynamic with the women. So <laughs> it gets pretty spicy <laughs> in now Colorado. Tune in to find out. <laughs> hey, actually, I, I might have to. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking about it now. Uh, so just, I mean, last few for us, but. When you look at that, is it better that the that the four of you guys were separated with your own kind of group of girls than the four of you guys having to f not fight over the same, but like say that you like that girl and, and he's like, nah, you know what, I'm kind of feeling her too and stuff like that. Like, is that more of an interesting dynamic that they put a couple and and gave you some and then well, I'm not trying to make it seem like that, but yeah. like obviously yeah, yeah. you guys were all separated by mm -hmm. that and not having to fight over the same 
you know, uh, I girls. think in other reality TV shows, you have that dynamic, which then creates more drama because she's trying to entertain both. And it, it, it's a deal, you know, whereas like when we each have our own individual women, you don't have that competition and you don't have to worry about that. So you're really there trying to make a very pure connection with these women instead of trying to compete or entertain or neglect, you know. So I think it is better. I think it's healthier and it's more wholesome to not have that competition amongst the men. And one more for me, you know, did you guys ever find, I don't know, friends or family or anybody come, came across, hey, I'm going to be in this show. They were just, just critical and judgmental and like, hey, why are you doing that? With just go, go to the bar and find somebody, anybody come across to you guys. And I guess, what do you say in those moments? You know, I, I didn't experience anything like that. I was kind of on the other side of friends and family were like supportive kind of the same thing and they came around a little bit and they're like man how, how are you doing this you know because it, it, it is so exhausting but I didn't ever had anybody that was critical so yeah small towns are different no small towns are different you have the people that are very supportive like you're saying that are very excited for you and hopeful that you find somebody but you also have the people that were like why would you do that? Why would you want to be part of that? Why would you expose that part of your life? But that comes back to back to the small dating pool and you just kind of being open to try to find somebody that's interested in the same lifestyle. And that's what Farmer Wants a Wife is all about. Yeah, those were probably the people that actually wanted to be in your shoes anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, two-parter and then we'll finish out here. Did you guys find what you were looking for? That's a great question. But you're going to have to... Tune in and find <laughs> out. <laughs> Who wins Sunday? Who wins Sunday? I'm hoping for the upset. Sam Fran. Man, that's, you know, I'm a Missouri kid. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go with the Chiefs, but I grew up watching the Cowboys and the 49ers dish it out, so I've got that respect for, you know, that Sam Fran team. But yeah, go Chiefs. So we have two new friends, Ty and Brandon. Thank you guys so much for jumping on. Farmers Want a Wife Season 2. We hope you guys found what you guys were looking for, but to find out, you guys are going to have to tune in. Thank you guys for jumping on with us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for That's having great. us.